guys, it's Karen, and I'm here to do a review of some UTAM products. These. Um, and I'm here in my living room. Obviously, it looks very different to when I'm in my vanity room. I was just sitting here talking about... Well, I did a vlog. I did a, a kind of chit-chat update on what's going on in my life. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and do the UTAM review. Why not? Um, I have to be perfectly honest and say that if these had... If I had tried these before doing that video, Self Tans to Avoid, I would have put these in there. Is that right? Did that make sense? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not a fan of these um, and I'm going to explain why. But the only review that I had watched was Jamie Genevieve. Um, I don't know whether you guys know Jamie. She's from Glasgow. I had actually met J Jamie a few times in Ilamasca because um, I used to go in and shop there and we'd chat about Instagram and whatnot. And she's absolutely adorable. So she openly said it was a sponsored video actually. But I guess the reason I'm saying that is just to bear in mind that just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. You might not be as fussy as me because there's things about the packaging I don't like. Um, there's things about the formula I don't like. So I would have said it was a, a self tan range to avoid, but listen to my reasons and, and you might say, oh, that wouldn't bother me or that might suit me, you know, because obviously Jamie, Jamie said that she loved them all, all of the products. Um, so uh, let me point out as well, I know that this is a crazy colour. I wasn't really intending to do a video. I'd forgotten that I was going to review the UTAM products and I want to review them before I send them back. Um, and I just thought, oh, I'm not really doing anything today. Let me put this crazy colour on. It's the Steely Liquid Lipstick in Como. Um, and so I put it on and then said, oh, you know what? I'm going to do a vlog. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some UTAM products reviews. So this, this is where I'm at. And I've got my hair kind of scraped back because this is me on my day off. Um, so where do I start? Let me start with this. This is the one I was probably most looking forward to. It's the U Tan and Tone Nourishing Night Cream. I got my products from QVC specifically because I know you can send things back. Although I am starting to, to worry that I'm going to be flagged as a, as a consistent returner because I was looking through my orders and I've made about six orders, say, in the last couple of months. And I've only kept one of the things. Everything else I've sent back. And I thought, oh no, I wonder if they'll think that I'm just... I don't know because if you like the product you'd keep it though wouldn't it the only thing I've kept is the Tarte Rainforest to the Sea Foundation anyway this was £21 they do do them in sets but there was no the, the set I wanted wasn't in stock and then the other set didn't have the things in it that I wanted to try so I bought these individually so this one was £21 which I think is quite a lot um, but I suppose if you think of it as skincare it's, it's probably around the, the price of Ole isn't it of an Ole night cream I like the fact that although it's in a jar, it's in one of these pump jars. Now, this might work. I, I have a problem with the packaging in that when you press down on this, the cream sometimes flies off. And I just demonstrated it on my vlog channel. And the first time I pressed it, it did explode. The second time, though, it came out absolutely fine. So we'll see what it does here. Fine. Absolutely fine. So that came out absolutely fine. I really am going to be tapped by the time I've finished using this. Um, this is the one that I did think I'm going to try again tonight. What I'm going to do is put a tiny bit on my, on a big piece of skin that is not visible and see if I get any colour from it the following day. Because my biggest problem with this, apart from the packaging, is that I got no colour at all. I used it last night and I used it on my face and neck. My neck, I've added a little bit of tan in this morning and I know it looks a little bit patchy. I will get to that when I talk about these. But I just feel like I've got no colour. And the way that I can normally tell how much colour there is in a tan is I put it on my face and neck. And so I put it sort of down my neck and then sort of around my chest area. And so I, the first thing I do in the morning is I go like that to see where the line is and how strong a line it is. I couldn't see any line at all with this. And I definitely took it down to my chest. So I feel like there was no colour at all. And I know that some gradual tans are are such a way that you won't see a colour until you've put it on for three nights in a row. I just, to me, that's pointless. I want to see a bit of colour. But like I said, that might appeal to some people, especially if you are very, very um, nervous of self-tans, as I know a lot of my viewers are. That might be worth your while trying this because like I said, you, as far as I can see, you get no colour. So you must have to use it at least two or three times to get any build-up of colour. Um, yeah, but as a cream, very, very nice. I'm not going to go too deep into the ingredients because, well, you know why? Because there's so many on there and I can't see them. <laughs> I know that it has got some fragrances in it, some irritating fragrances in it, but they are way low on the list of a lot of ingredients. And I, 
I remember checking and I don't think it's got alcohol in it. I'm not 100% sure, like I said, I'm not doing the ingredients review as I usually would because, because I'm not recommending it. Um, but actually out of these three products, if I had to keep one, it probably would be this, simply because it was a very nice night cream, um, but yeah, no color in it. And it's not one I'd repurchase for the night cream side of things, um, although it was nice. Yeah, I think I might well keep this and just use it as a night cream. And I'll see if then if any colour builds up, you know. Um, so that's okay, that. The next two I'm going to talk about together because they they are pretty much the same. And in fact, that's one of my complaints. This one is the Firm in Body Weekly Self Tan in medium. Um, I think you can get this in medium dark. Sorry, I actually knows. This one is the Firm in Body Turbo Self Tan in medium to dark. This is the one that you can put on for 40 minutes and then wash off, or you can leave it longer for a dark, which is why it's medium to dark. So 40 minutes it would be medium, if you leave it on it would be dark. That's what they're saying anyway. And I don't like either of these, um, but I haven't used this in any particular way other than this is what I put on my neck this morning, and I'm going to rinse this off and see if anything happens. Just because this morning I wanted to put this top on that was off the shoulder, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try some of this and put it over my neck and shoulders. And I just, I don't like the way it applies. I think it looks patchy and it's actually very difficult to apply. But the first one I tried was this. I put this on my arms, um, arms and I sort of skimmed over the top of my hands yesterday. It's a little bit patchy here, I have to say. But firstly, the packaging. Now I can't demonstrate it because this is one that if you get it on your fingers, it does, um, I suppose I could put it on a piece of paper, couldn't I? Let's see. Okay, do you see, I've just pressed that down and nothing's come out except the tiniest little, this is what's come out on the end. Oh, there's a bit more has come out on that occasion. It's just a sort of, I thought it wasn't working actually. I thought, oh, I've got a dud one, it's not working. I'm gonna to have to send it back to get another one. But then when I tried this other weekly one, I thought, well, they're both the same. That's obviously the way they are made. And that to me is just hugely frustrating because that amount of self tan is not gonna do very much at all. And I know they say you only need a little bit, but you don't need that small amount. Um, I should say actually that the reason I tried these is because I had two Utan products that I loved. Um, and one of them I still have some left and I do still use. It's, the, it's a facial deluxe, it's called a deluxe gradual tan. I think it's called Miami Beach, something like that in completely different packaging. I'm assuming I can't get it anymore and that's a shame because that was a really, really good facial tanner. Um, and I'm guessing that this has replaced it, but this has less dihydroxyacetone in it, which is the tanning product. Um, anyway, back to this. So I don't like the packaging on either of these because you have to stand there, if you're doing your arms and legs, you have to stand there, pump, 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 pump to get any out. And you might go like three pumps with getting nothing out and then one pump, some comes out. So it's not a consistent pump, it's just not very good packaging, in my opinion. I mean, I like the bottles and everything, and I don't mind pumps like that, but they need to work properly. Um, so that was the first problem. Then when I got the lotion out, by the time I got the lotion out, it was already starting to dry where it was, but I, I was using the gloves, because they, <laughs> this is the other thing, they give you one glove with it. I don't know if I'm just crazy, but how many of us use one glove? I put two gloves off on if I'm doing my tan because I use my left hand for my right leg, my right hand for my right leg, etc., etc. I thought that was very odd because you can't, how can you then take, anyway, I just thought that was very odd. You get one glove with each product. I got one with this and one with this. I didn't get one with a night tan. Um, so I'm using the glove and I'm rubbing it in and I was like, I start off, I put it on here and then I, I rub it up there and then I rub it down like that. And I was, the time I got to there, it had dried in and there wasn't enough for this bit. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have a big white bit here. And I was really trying to like rub it in and it just wouldn't rub in anymore. It dries down very, very quickly. You have to really work quickly, which is the opposite to what Michelle Moan said on the QVC video of her putting it on. If you go and look at QVC, she says you've got plenty of time to rub it in. So I thought I did and when I, I was like, no, it, that's it dry already. I can't rub it in anymore. So what I did actually was then when I did this arm, I used a bit of what was left on my mitt and put it up here to kind of fill in if you like. Um, so because that happened, I thought, okay, on the right hand side, I'm gonna use my mitt and use this. So I put this on my mitt and again, same problems with the pump, but not only that, the mitt soaks up a lot of it. So although it was better using the mitt, much better, 
I don't know whether there's a difference between my arms. Yeah, there is a bit, isn't there? This one is definitely whiter. I didn't get as much project product on my right arm. I had to put an awful lot on the glove in order to get a little bit on my arm. It just seemed to, for whatever reason, it just seemed to sink right into my, it's my luxury mitt, you know, the ultimate that I use. Um, and I just had to really quickly work over my eye. I still had to work very, very quickly. Um, but that definitely made it easier to apply. But like I said, most of it was, was sunk into the glove. my arms and it has developed okay. There is no self tan scent, I can say that, so that, that will definitely appeal to people. In fact, it says on it that it's got a delicious scent, heavenly scent, it says, heavenly scent. I didn't notice a heavenly scent, I have to say. It's okay, I don't think it's a heavenly scent, but you know, each to their own in that respect. But yes, it's developed nice enough, but it is, now again, I don't know if it will show up, it's definitely patchy here. And I put moisturiser over the top of it, as I always do on my wrists, I'll put moisturiser over my hands and wrists. And it is, I can see that it's patchy and I can see that it's going to fade patchy. Because if it's like that after first developing, it's likely that that will fade patchy. Um, not so much on the right hand one where I used my ultimate and I didn't use the glove. So then I did my legs and I did my legs again the same way. I used the other glove that came with this one. Um, I should have just used this I suppose so that I could test both of them out. But anyway, I used this on my left leg with the glove and it, my feet, feet looked horrendous, absolutely horrendous. It goes on like the Saint Tropez lotion but it clings more to your skin and it just seemed to cling to every bit of, I don't know, wrinkles, dry skin. I don't even, I don't even feel like I've got dry feet. My feet are not dry. Um, I never even use body lotion or foot cream or anything like that because I don't have dry skin. But it, they just looked horrendous. I was like, well, well, I won't be wearing sandals for the next couple of days unless it all washes off. Um, so on the right foot, again, I used my ultimate and that's definitely better, although I've still got patches. Like, it just looks terrible. It looks really, really terrible. So I got in the shower yesterday to shower it off to, to see. Hopefully most of this is guide color and it comes off and they still don't look good. They don't look as horrendous, but they are not feet that I would show to anybody. They will definitely, regardless of the hot weather today, I would definitely be wearing trainers or shoes or something. Um, so that's the that's this one I'm talking about, the weekly self-tanning medium. But like I said, this one is the same kind of thing, but and it's the same problem with the pump, but this one is supposed to develop in 40 minutes and wash off or you can leave it overnight for a darker colour. And this is where I have an issue. I guess what I should say is I don't ever do, well, I very rarely do a full body tan. So I will tan my arms up to kind of my shoulders and then I use my face tan on my face and neck. And then I will do my legs up to, either up to my knees because I very rarely show my thighs, but usually up to the top of my thigh. So the middle part of my bo body never really gets tanned because I don't really ever show that off, you know. Um, so what I did was I put a little bit of the weekly medium one on the left hand side of my stomach, stomach on my stomach, and then a little bit of this 40 minute one on the right hand side. And I slept in that overnight to see what the difference is in color. No difference whatsoever. This one is medium. This is supposed to be the darkest color after 40, no, not after 40 minutes, after overnight. And they were both exactly the same color. The color on my tummy looks exactly the same on both sides after having a shower. So. I was just really surprised with that. I, the only thing I would say that I haven't tested on this, which is what I'm gonna do this morning, I'm gonna wash this off and see, wash this off my neck and see what it looks like underneath. But even going on, it, it was very, very hard to work with this morning and I feel like it's like there's a patch there. You can see my white lines, it just doesn't look good. Um, but I haven't tried this like on my arms and then washing it off, on my legs and then washing it off. In order to do that, I would have to wait until this horrendous tan has come off my legs and feet. Um, and then put it on, put it on and wash it off after 40 minutes. I might try it on my arms like that, or maybe I'll, see I was gonna say maybe I'll put it on my tummy um, and kind of boobs and whatnot, but they don't tend to go patchy, so it wouldn't give me a real sense of, of what it would look like, you know? Um, so like I said, maybe I'll do it in my arms, on my arms in a couple of days. I'll have to see how long I've got to return it because I can't see me wanting to keep these at all. It's just so frustrating. Um, these were about £20 each as well. I, th I know that my total amount was around about £60. Um, it, they're not bad prices for tans, actually, because I think this kind of product from Saint-Tropez is probably £30 at least, isn't it? Because um, you get 200ml in each of these. So I guess it's a good price. 
but it would only the price would only be good if it was a good product um, and for me it just isn't um so like i said don't uh, although i am being negative i'm being negative for how it worked on me the, it did not work for me i don't like the packaging i don't like the pump i don't think the pumps work very well but that might be that I like a lot to come out because I'm an impatient person. So you might be like, well, actually, that'll work better for me if only a little bit comes out at the time. I don't like that it dried down so quickly because there was no time to rub it in, but you might prefer that so that it, because you don't get a tacky finish at all, it's definitely dry within seconds, so you could probably get dressed. So you might think of that as a good thing. Um, the fact that this doesn't have very much colour you might think is great. You might be like, yeah, that's absolutely fine because I don't want much colour. Anyway, you get my drift. What I'm saying is just because they don't work for me doesn't mean they won't work for you, but at least I've told you the things about them that you may or may not like. Um, like I said, I'm going to maybe try that again tonight and see what I think of it. I'm going to see, do I think it's a nice enough night cream to keep it for that reason only? And also then to see if by using it a second night in a row, it does build up to any kind of colour. Um, and then I might use the 40 minute one on my arms and see if that if it's less patchy by putting it on but i'll have to wait until this one comes off which will be probably another week you know or at least a few a few days and i need to ch check how long i've got to return things to qvc um because these are definitely things i would return they're so good with that it's so good that's everything um i told you what i've got on my lips on my eyes i've got this beautiful color by makeup geek that just arrived yesterday um called toxic it's just one of their single eye shadows um on my face, I used the Maybelline Dream Satin Foundation. Um, I used the Nars Laguna Bronzer. I used the blush. Oh, the blush, do you know what? I used the Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Wisteria. You wouldn't believe it because the Wisteria is a purple eyeshadow. But I just thought, oh, that's the kind of color I'd use as a blush. And I thought, well, why not? I'll use it. Because you've got bronzer on, of course, it mixes and makes it more of a kind of I guess a plummy pinky colour, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, that's what I've got on. Steely Liquid Lipstick in Como and that's everything. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll speak to you soon.